If that intro alone isn't enough to sell you on this game, I don't know what will. Hello everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I am Kaiser Akron, the host with the voices, and welcome to Pizza Tower. This game has been everywhere. Like, I'm not kidding when I say this game has been hitting social media, YouTube, no everything like wildfire as of late. And as you can see, I have kind of been playing on my own. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of the weirdest, but most fun game I have played in a while. Like, it is utterly bizarre, and <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with it. So, uh, I guess, let's start up a new file and let's show you guys what it's all about. Like I said, the intro alone kind of gives you an idea. You play as Peppino, and you have to go into this tower, ruled by Pizza Face. Yes, that is his name, and this is gonna get weird. I'm gonna warn you now, this is going to get very, very weird. Like, just from the tutorial alone, it gets weird. Like, look at this. It's like a weird 90s Saturday morning cartoon. So yeah, you press the A button to jump, and you hold down to crawl, but you can also do a ground pound. Also, if you jump up and do that, you can go in and out of boxes. So yeah, you can crawl. And I gotta say, the animations on this dude just... <laughs> they are the wildest thing. So yeah, you can also ground pound and break blocks. And you can, if you do it from high enough point, metal blocks get broken too. Although I kind of hit the corner there, but it still worked, so makes my point. So yeah, there are some hidden blocks that you can destroy as well. Just do this. Just grab them. Also, you have little uh, toppings that you can save that have googly eyes. Yes, th they will follow you throughout the level. They are important. You must save them. Trust me. So yeah, the grab dashing can destroy those purple marble blocks along with hidden blocks. So, <laughs> now's where it gets interesting. You can run in this game. If you build up enough speed, you do a mock run. And then you can climb walls. This is going to become your best friend. You can also wall jump like so, as long as you're not gaining too much speed. If you gain too much, it kind of ruins the flow. Alright, you can also kind of just do all sorts of crazy shit. Like, I'm skipping over most of it, but <laughs> there's just too much to cover in all honesty. Like, I, I, I haven't even gotten into the nitty gritty of how nuts this game is gonna get. Like, every time I think the game can no longer surprise me, it, it continues to surprise me, and that is a rarity. So yeah. Basically, if you hold the trigger and press down, you can do little slides and rolls to break blocks. You can even dive and do it, too. And if you go fast enough, your dash kind of gets more insane, to put it that way. And running down slopes can make you go faster, so momentum is a factor in this. So, yeah! This is sort of the nitty-gritty of Pizza Tower. And if you turn, you can maintain the momentum while going down certain things. And of course you can dash up like so, just to give you an idea of how the sense of speed is one of the best things in this game. Like, it's nuts. Now if you hold up while running, you can charge up and <laughs> do that! Basically just dash like a freaking madman. And in all honesty, Peppino is kind of a madman? He's a little crazy, as you will soon, soon see. So yeah, as you can see, we gather up a- wait, what the heck? I never did read the tutorial. Oh yeah, basically you can grab and throw things as well, like so, watch. Chuck! And that can help you destroy certain blocks and certain obstacles, like so. Alright, now comes- <laughs> now comes the fun part. Yeah, as you can see, these guys are very important because the more of them you collect, the more money you receive, and... Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. This is John the Pillar. Once you break this guy, basically, it's on. And any block you see that's kind of highlighted like this will become solid. 
And there's a reason the music is ominous. Once you break this block, you have to run. And I mean fast. Why? Let me show you. Yeah, it tells you to get out now for a very good reason. It doesn't show it here, but in the actual stages, you need to split. Because if not, you are gonna suffer. All right, so let's go to John Gutter Hall. Now, before I start this level properly, I would like to explain something. As you can see, there's a score meter and there is a rank meter. There are quite a few ranks that you can receive in this game. From D all the way to P. Yes, P is a rank in this game. And getting a P rank is, well, let's just say it's quite a challenge. You, in order to gain a P rank, you have to not only beat the stage, not only gather up all the ingredients, not only find every secret in the level, but you also have to do it without breaking a combo chain, which is a lot harder than it sounds. Like, it took me hours to perfect, and I unfortunately do not have the footage of this, so I cannot show you. If I can pull it off here, I'll do it, but I doubt I'm gonna have that kind of luck. But I will do my best because there's a lot that you have to do in order to pull it off. For example, there's a secret here. It's marked with an eyeball. And in these secret areas, you will have points that can help you maintain your combo meter. As you can see, under Peppino's screen, as I'm going to refer to it as, the Peppino vision, you basically have a combo meter. You have to try and maintain this as long as humanly possible, or throughout the whole level if you're able. Because if not, yeah, well, let me put it this way, you're gonna get really angry trying to get P-Ranks. Now, do you have to destroy every enemy in the level? God, no. That would be impossible. Like, utterly impossible, especially for some of the later stages. Because later stages are utterly insane. And yes, there are things that will trip you up, like banana peels, those guys with the forks. But the good thing about this game, and what I love, is that there are many, many ways to maintain your combo chain. From catching different ingredients to destroying different enemies. Like, there's a lot that you can do to make sure that combo stays afloat and builds. So as long as you can memorize the layout of a level, you should be all right. So yeah, oh shoot. So yeah, as you can see, I just lost the combo. So I will not be getting a P rank. The most I can get now is an S. Like, it's very strict. So for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do, apart from failing, which luckily with these levels in particular, like falling and getting that technical difficulty thing doesn't count as damage. It counts more towards, you know, like, time lost. So what I'll do is I'll at least get the S rank, because I can at least do that. Oh, also, this dude. Save him. Find him in every level. There's a reason for this, and I will show you when we get there. All right, so now I can explain this properly. Basically, you are on a time limit to get out of the stage. If you don't get out in that allotted time that the game has graciously given you, let's just say uh, Pizza Face is gonna wake up. And yes, that is the name of the main villain of this game. His name is Pizza Face. Pizza Face will wake up, and uh, you're gonna have to suffer his wrath. Essentially, what it means is you will be uh, running for your life while he chases you. So you don't want to uh, deal with that. All right, we got the secret treasure of this level, which is a stick of butter. Right, now that we got that, we can leave-ish. Also, this tune is so freaking good. I'm sorry, this is like best track in the game. Ironically called, It's Pizza Time. A, a very fitting name for a track, I must say. Okay, there is a secret here, and I know there is. There we go. So yeah, there's a lot to take into account with this game. It is utterly nuts. 
but that's part of why I love it. It's utterly insane in the best freaking way. And yes, you do have certain achievements and tasks that are exclusive to the game itself that also show up as Steam achievements, if you're playing this on Steam, which is the only way you can play it at the moment, unless you're playing, like, demos and such. Okay, so, I'm nearing the end of the level now, but now... Huh. Weird. It's not fair. I guess you have to beat the level once to get lap two. So yeah, you get ranked for your performance from D to P, and in this case I got the very nice. And every topping you collect gives you $10. In this case, I got a full 50. Now, why is this important? Let me show you as we go deeper into the tower. Basically, see this dude? He wants money. What's for? This is a boss level. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, basically, you need money in order to open up the boss levels. And this guy's kind of a cheapskate, so you need a good amount of money. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, uh, old tower. What the? F what is that adorable thing? What the? What? Okay. Um, that's a that's a thing. Okay. So, since we've beaten a level and beaten the tutorial, now I want to at least make one, one attempt to get a P rank. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this, but I'm going to at least try. I have developed sort of a strategy for this. Ah, yes. Okay, so now I can explain this. Once you get to the end of the stage during pizza time, you can enter this pizza portal. Yes, that is indeed a pizza portal. And enter what is referred to as lap two. You go through the entire stage again and basically have to beat the clock. And if you can do that successfully while maintaining the combo chain that you've had since the beginning of the level you can get a P rank. It is a maddening challenge, if I'm being completely honest. I, I, I'm gonna be very straightforward with you. If you're expecting this to be a super taunt, I don't remember this. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> that is something you can do too. If you are near an enemy that is about to hit you, in the case of like the fork things, like they're about to stab you, you can perform a taunt. But I guess you can also perform a super taunt. I didn't know about that. That's actually new. I, I didn't know that was possible. I guess pressing up and the taunt button, which is Y in this case, performs a super taunt. Cool, I had no idea about that. That's kind of new to me. All right, that takes care of him. So yeah, if I can actually get the P rank in this video, that'd be great, but I doubt it. Because there's, again, a lot you gotta do for it. But, let me tell you, the combo chain can get pretty ridiculous. Now later stages, <laughs> let's just say later stages in court some, incorporate some interesting gimmicks that you have to take into account. And getting P ranks in those, <laughs> Well, like I said, there's a reason why this ain't gonna be a, a, a perfect P rank playthrough. Like, I'm just playing this to play it. Oop, banana. Uh, like I said, I'm just playing this to play it. I ain't going for perfection. I, I, I'm not that good. <laughs> like, if I can get a P rank here, that'd be fantastic just for the sake of demonstration. So yeah, I always kind of butts up the jumping here. Because I'm not used to the... Well, as you can see, I'm not used to the jumping mechanics on the walls. So I will allow myself a restart in this instance just for that. Because... Wait, no. Actually, I have to exit the level because I think you can't restart levels either. It's very, very precise. I'm sorry. I, I just... There's something about this game style that drives me nuts. Like... I don't know what it is. It's just this weird combination of things that just click into place in just the right way that just make it this enjoyably dumb thing. I love it. And I, I kind of like Peppino as a character. Like, dude's kind of crazy. But at the same time, can you freaking blame the man? Dude's business is about to go under and he's got to stop a giant floating pizza face from blowing up his livelihood. Dude's allowed to be a little bit nuts. Just, ugh. And I guess I just, the control on this game 
is so tight and so precise that the only way you can really make a mistake is if you haven't really acclimated yourself to the control scheme. Like, that's on you. Like, I don't know. It just kind of works. So yeah, I, I, I think I might attempt to get a P rank here. I don't know if I'm going to pull it off. I, I hope I can, just because that'd be kind of cool for the inaugural video of this Let's Play series, just getting a P rank right away. I mean, yeah, it's the first level, but I mean, come on, it's the first video of the series. That'd be kind of cool to get one right off the bat. Alright, that... I do kind of have a method. You can't really see it, in all honesty, but I'm hoping I can demonstrate what I'm doing. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm opening up pathways throughout the level, so that way I can uh, maximize my speed. And I'm making sure to do as many of the secrets as possible before pizza time, so that way it's less to worry about in the interim. Alright, there we go. Nice. Alright. Like, the more you can do before it's time to run, so to speak, the better. That's why getting this guy is kind of imperative. And in some instances, you won't be able to get him until it's pizza time. So, keep that in mind. Some levels will not allow you to do too much. But once that meter starts, man, it is a mad dash to the finish. So, run, run, and run. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm commentating right now because my main objective is focusing. Focusing on getting this done. And keeping the combo meter up, because that is the most stress-inducing thing in this game, is keeping that meter up. So you gotta purposely put yourself in danger just to keep that thing going. As you will soon see. Personally, what I like to do is just go ham where I can. I love that freaking bridge just before, like, the main thing starts. Again, that track is... That track is crack. Like, legit. That track is crack. Okay. That's all the things. Now to beat the level. Still got a good amount of time here, so... Pepino, get in the box. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Ill-willed. That combo's still going. So yeah, I guess you do have to beat a level at least once to unlock lap two. Which makes sense, I guess. Okay, go, go, go! Go through it! Oh wait, we got S. There it is! P rank! Okay, we got a minute 14 seconds to beat this thing at least one more time. At least now, you can just focus on going. So, that's what our focus is now. Just, that you know, don't... Oh, thank God for the clocks. Okay, yeah, any pickup will be reset. So don't worry if you miss it on the first run, you'll be able to get it on the second run. So, again. Okay, interrupt. Okay, go, 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 go! Alright. 74. Okay, we're doing good on time. Still got like 40 seconds. Okay, good. Alright, still doing good, still doing good! Not worried, and not stressing. Okay. There we go. Down. Got an 80 combo, we're still doing good. Still going strong. Okay. One. Almost there. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's do this. All right. Almost there. Woo. It's a rush. All right. Stop. Yeah. There we freaking go. Highest rank possible on the first freaking episode. Whew. And no damage! God damn! I feel pretty good about myself! <laughs> Alright, so that, my friends, is how you get a P rank in this game, and that, I think, is where I'm gonna call it. Whew, what a rush for the first episode, huh? <laughs> so, tune in next time as we go through the first floor of the Pizza Tower. Get ready for some insane shit, is all I can say. So, Till then, folks, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this absolute anarchy. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I am running for my life through this crazy freaking tower. You know, what are you doing? 
Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being... Five Way Dragon, Boss Maker, D. Morin, D. Wolf1414, Aaron Lena, Grimilion, Hannah McGee, Hitsiona Crevento, Honor Higgins, Aishipid88, Jesse Barbo6, Mighty Chlorophyte, Nagi Ogi, Seth Ryan Dodson, Song Destroyer12, Sonic Star21, William Christopher Warren, Brianna Anseo, Darshan Morris, Izuka610, Mimi Peach, Princess Funnybone, Ruby the Wolf, Silver Fox MC, and Timid Recluse. If you'd like to support the Patreon family as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and chances to Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Kaiser, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! <laughs>